Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Torrential downpours started to hit the northwest of England and parts of Scotland tonight, with the rain expected to move south and arrive in London from Friday. Cumbria is being lashed with persistent and heavy rain, which is not likely to ease until Thursday night, the Met Office said as it issued an amber warning for the region. Up to a foot of rain, 300 mm, is expected to fall in parts of the county, which typically sees an average of 6.3 inches, 160 mm, in October. In a 24-hour period you could see a month's worth of rain, Met Office meteorologist Annie Shuttleworth said, describing the weather as, notably. The rainfall total is much higher than the average rainfall for this time of year, definitely, and in general, for any time of year it's a lot of rainfall in a short period of time, she added. Dumfries and Galloway in southwest Scotland are also being battered by downpours, lasting until 9 de la mañana on Thursday. The Met Office said there could be a danger to life from fast flowing or deep floodwater. The Amber Alerts also warn of potential damage to homes and businesses from flooding, dangerous driving conditions and travel disruption. Communities could be cut off by flooded roads and face power cuts, according to the service. Videos showed the lethal gushing rivers in Cumbria this evening, after forecasters warned that flooding was a big concern. And while Londoners and those in the south of England will avoid Met Office weather warnings in the coming days, rain is still on the way from Friday, with the weekend set to be a washout in the capital. The flood warnings issued for Cumbria and Scotland today and tomorrow mean that residents should move vehicles to higher ground and move themselves, their pets and important belongings upstairs in their homes. There could also be disruption to travel. The Met Office warned, persistent and heavy rain is likely to bring flooding and transport disruption. There will be, spray and flooding probably leading to difficult driving conditions and some road closures. Delays and some cancellations to train and bus services are likely. The Environment Agency issued four flood warnings, meaning flooding is expected, as well as 15 flood alerts, meaning flooding is possible, with the number expected to rise significantly as rain falls overnight. Ben Lucky, flood duty manager at the government department said, a slow-moving band of heavy and persistent rain could bring surface water and river flooding and disruption to travel, to communities in Cumbria and parts of the north of England from today, Wednesday, through to Friday and Saturday. Working with our partners in local resilience forums, environment agency teams have been out on the ground clearing waste grilles and screens, and stand ready to operate flood defenses if needed. They are also ready to support local authorities in their response to surface water flooding. Egwe are urging residents and visitors, especially holiday makers in the Lake District, to stay alert and check their flood risk by signing up for free flood warnings on the GOV. UCA website and via arroba NV agency on Twitter, which offered the latest updates. Cumbria Fire and Rescue Service said residents should be alert to the dangers of flood water. Ember enter flood water on foot or in a vehicle. Call 999 if life is at risk, we're here to help, the service tweeted. The Scottish Environment Protection Agency, SEPA, tweeted, heavy persistent rain across southern Scotland overnight into Thursday is likely to lead to river and surface water flooding in eastern Dumfries and Galloway and western Scottish borders, expect flooding of lowly inland and travel disruption. The agency sued seven flood warnings and three flood alerts. Network Rail set speed limits and reduced services would be in place on some routes between Wednesday and Friday, with disruption to the West Coast Main Line. Passengers traveling between Glasgow or Edinburgh and Carlisle are being advised to travel only if the journey is absolutely necessary. Liam Sumter, Network Rail Scotland route director, said, extreme rainfall can pose a serious risk to the railway, causing landslips or damaging our infrastructure and bridges. The safety of our passengers and colleagues is our main priority during periods of poor weather, and slowing services down and running fewer trains will help us manage these conditions for everyone. The rain lashing the UK is due to a stream of warm moisture that has moved up from the tropics, Miss Shuttleworth said. On Thursday, southwest England and Wales are forecast to be hit, with a yellow weather warning for rain across much of Wales until Friday afternoon. Some disruption is expected, particularly in the Brecon Beacons and Snowdonia, though not as widespread or impactful as other affected areas of the UK, according to the Met Office. The warnings issued in Cumbria cover the town of Keswick and the village of Grasmere, near the river Rothai. 
Amber Alerts also cover parts of Cumbria, including areas near the Cocker, Marron and Derwent rivers, where water levels have recent sharp light. In the town of Cockermouth, which suffered horrendous flooding in 2009, sandbags have been delivered to the library. However, the Cockermouth Emergency Response Group earlier said river levels are lower than had been initially forecast. Fast-flowing waters were filmed on the River Kent in Kendal, Cumbria, on Wednesday evening as the rain continued to fall. Twitter user Stuart Atkinson said, The River Kent in Kendal tonight. Already raging. And a day and a half more rain to come down yet. Yellow warnings are also in place for most of Wales and from Burnley and Lancaster up to Carlisle on Friday. It comes a week after parts of Britain were hit by major flooding as heavy rain and strong winds from a storm moving in from France caused chaos and a mini tornado smashed through a house in Estate. The low-pressure system named Storm Aurora barreled along the English Channel across October 20 and 21, bringing more than 2 inches, 50 mm, of rain and 77 millas per hora winds in the worst affected areas of the South Coast and Channel Islands, while the Scottish Highlands suffered thick snow after temperatures plummeted. The Met Office said the storm dealt a glancing blow to southern England, and emergency services were inundated with Essex Fire Service getting more than 120 calls up until 2.30 de la mañana regarding flood-related incidents. Meanwhile in Manchester, footballer Paul Pogba's 300.000 libras Rolls Royce was nearly smashed by a fallen tree as fierce winds hit. The Manchester United midfielder's wife, Maria Zulaiza Lagues, posted an image of the couples carrying in the driveway of their dos libras y 90 peniques million Cheshire mansion, with a fallen tree leaning inches away from the vehicle. The Bolivian model, 27, captioned the Instagram story post. This happened last night as the image showed Pogba's red black batch motor was just a few yards away from being ruined by the storm. In the northeast, monster waves battered the coast, as walkers were forced to dock to avoid getting wet. The promenade at Seaburn, in Sunderland, was drenched as huge crests of water broke onto the concrete. Waves up to 50 pies high rose and fell dwarfing toes taking a stroll along the seafront. Flooding caused delays across the rail network between Exeter, Salisbury and Tiverton in the southwest, and at Belmont in South London. Heavy rain also caused a landslip between Crover Row and Useka Field in East Sussex, and another between Dartford and Gravesend in Kent, causing further misery on the trains. Much of the south was under by an amber warning for rain during the storm, although the most severe impact of was in northern France, where 105 millas per hora was recorded at Fecamp in Normandy.